Hey everyone, so sorry it's been a little while since I've done a proper video, but um, I have been very busy <laughs> doing a lot of commissions, which is awesome. Commissions are always great and I've been getting a lot of them lately. I also recently did this build, which is a Fairband Sykes dagger that was done in 48 hours. Niels Vandenberg challenged me and my boy Sam Towns also competed in this challenge. D daggers are hard to make at the best of times. Uh, doing it in 48 hours is insanity. <laughs> so that took up uh, actually three days because it's 48 hours but it started lunchtime Monday so all of Tuesday and then a half of first half of Wednesday as well so it kind of messed the days up. I was wiped by the end of it. But that dagger uh, build actually sort of gave me an idea really because that was created by, the challenge was created by Niels uh, and Stuart Smith to um, help motivate people during this lockdown. And the lockdown uh, is worldwide, it's affecting everybody. And if you make your own stuff and sell it, it is intimidating to be faced with a lockdown um, because, you know, I, for example, go to markets normally and sell at markets, shops that I put my things in that you gotta go and over to the shops and um, all that travel's been restricted now and people aren't willing to come out for lessons and all that sort of thing and classes so you need as much support and motivation as you can get and the knife making community has been doing that this 48 hour dagger build was a chance to actually uh, sort of show the world what not different knife makers have got you know uh, to be able to do that shows the skill that you have as a knife maker to do an ornate dagger in just 48 hours and when I mean ornate dagger I really mean ornate dagger um, a lot of work went into this as you can probably tell uh, and this is one of the simpler daggers that came out of that <laughs> competition to give you an idea so having that support um, that between everybody was was awesome but on top of that I've been getting people ordering from my Etsy store. I've been getting people buying from me from Redbubble, like these new posters that I've got with Natalie on them. Awesome stuff. People have been buying t-shirts and posters and coasters and bags and books and all sorts of cool stuff. And it's awesome to see because every time somebody does that, they're supporting somebody who is working for themselves. You know, I don't get a regular paycheck. I don't have health plans or anything like that. It's just me and anything that I earn is, is what I earn, basically. And if I don't work hard and sell things, then I don't make a living. So it's, I'm one of many, many people in this community that are hampered by this, you know. So when I get support like that, it means a lot. And I'd like to give a special shout out to Stefan, who we've all uh, heard of before. He sent me another care package, um, double care package, two more crates, uh, there was, more German chocolates in there, Hanutas, love Hanutas. Um, one of the crates was pretty much just edible things. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna fat me up. Uh, but he also sent me really cool handle materials to be able to keep making things during this lockdown because just going out to a timber store and things is not as easy as it used to be. And he sent me things like this beautiful spalted red beech, which I've been having a lot of fun with. I mean, look at the the patterning in that. Incredible wood. He also labelled each one with calligraphy that he's been learning. He wrote me a handwritten letter in the package that was written on, um, he had two, it was one that was a letter that was on hemp paper, um, just in nice cursive, but another one was made on paper made of elephant poo, and he did the entire thing in um, proper calligraphy that he's been practising, um, and he wrote a poem about elephant poo paper. <laughs> and it really cheered me up. It gave me a really good laugh. But he also sent me these stunning books. And I'm, as his reward is hearing me butcher German. <laughs> but he sent me the Handbuch der Schmiedekunst, which I believe is something like um, Handbook of Blacksmithing or Blacksmithing Guidebook. Um, and it's just... It's all in German, so I don't understand. I, mean, I, I used to be able to speak German quite well, but when you don't use it for 15 years and <laughs> have no one to talk to uh, that speaks German, it just disappears. But it's got all of these beautiful, I don't know how well that's gonna show up on camera, but beautiful sort of twist patterns and finial work and chasing work, uh, examples of chain ideas, decorative chains, um, door knockers, you know, you don't really need to read German to be able to appreciate this book. Um, 
incredible. It's been hugely inspirational and gotten me very excited to do, because I've got some uh, Georgian iron work projects. This is a bit more sort of French Baroque style. Roy's ears are probably wiggling, but still the inspiration is there no, uh, nonetheless. He also sent me this one, which is the Musterbuch for Kunschlosser, which is, I think, uh, sort of like um, pattern book or, or example book of um, iron work, decorative iron work. And this doesn't really have much wording in it at all. It's just pictures of examples from history around the world that have been found of this different ironwork. And like, look at all of this. It's, if that's no inspirational, I don't know what is. I mean, look at that. People did this by hand back in the day. Incredible. But it's sort of, when I'm next looking for what, you know, what's a finial I could put here, or how could I arrange this scroll? I can come here and look at this and get some amazing, amazing examples of things that I could do. And like these two books alone would have been worth the care packages, but the fact that he sent so much more makes it mean so much more because he sent both the theory and the inspiration, but also the practical side of things. He also sent like bars of aluminium for me to melt down and cast and um, all sorts of wonderful goodies in there. I won't take you through the whole lot because it was very personal um, package with the letter and the, the calligraphy and all that sort of thing. But just, you know, the point of this was the support that he sent me from the other side of the world. He sent me this during what is pro arguably the most difficult period for most people alive today. And it's basically this big message of keep on going. And everybody who's been ordering from my Etsy store has been doing the same thing. A lot of them have been sending me messages and said, letting me know, I just bought this because I like your work and I want you to keep going through this. It's been phenomenal. And so I wanted to do this video to ask all of you to start doing the same thing. And the best way that I can think of that you can do it is that you each have an audience. Between us, our collectively, we have a huge reach. So I want you to just shout out a couple of people. I don't, I don't want this to be like a tag somebody or anything like that. Just do it. Put up a video, we'll start a hashtag. Maybe we can, you know, shout them out. Hashtag shout them out, you know. And I want you to pick a couple of people that you are, you know sell things. They have an online store. Maybe they have an Etsy, maybe they have a website. Uh, maybe they take commissions through their social media. I want you to shout out a couple of people and let the world know that they've got this store so that the, and, and link them so that people can actually track them down and maybe buy something from them, maybe help them out, maybe send them some support, send them some love, get them through what's a tough bloody time, frankly. And so the two people that I want to shout out, just to give you an example of what I mean, is first one, it's got to be my boy Big Fudge. Sam Towns has an Etsy store that, frankly, I'm amazed how long some of the things that are on there stay there without being purchased. They are beautiful. And he currently has some really, really nice knives on there. And I really think that people should be looking at them more. So if you have a platform uh, to do so, shout out Sam. Give, him a, uh, give people a link to his Etsy store or his social media. Let people know that he has these things for sale now. He can just stick them in a box and anywhere in the world, well, with the shipping restrictions and everything, most places in the world, he can send them off right away. And it's also going to be helping out a maker who, you know, is also doing it tough because he does this full time. Another one I wanted to shout out was Dan Moss. Everyone knows I love Dan Moss. Um, but what people may not know is he has an Etsy store. I know he shouts it out in his videos, but I don't know what sort of traffic he gets. His tongs inspire me every time I see them. They are the most beautiful tongs I have ever seen. The, the finishing on them, the shapeliness to them, the perfection and precision in the work, incredible. He has other tools on there as well, as well as hammer blanks and things that you can use, but his tongs, man, go and check out his tongs. They're on his Etsy page. It's all gonna be linked below. So check out Sam, check out Dan, and when you do check them out, if you like what you see, Shout them out. You know, you've all got platforms somewhere. You've got a Facebook page. You've got your own YouTube channel, maybe. You've got an Instagram. Shout these people out and find a couple of people that you'd like to actually give some recognition to 
and hopefully it might drive some sales to them and help get them through what is a really difficult time for everybody the world over, no matter what country you're from, what creed you aspire to, doesn't matter. Everybody needs the help. So thought I'd give that, uh, give it a go. Hashtag shout them out. Just do a video yourself, shout out a couple of people, let the world know about them and sing their praises. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to work. I am actually gonna be putting up a video that goes through the making of this because they did a lot of social media um, during that 48 hours, a lot, like a couple of weeks worth. So I'm actually gonna do up a video that sort of uh, sums it all up and does it in chronological order so you can see the build process uh, as we go. I might even narrate some bits. And uh, yeah, hopefully that inspires some people to challenge themselves. You don't necessarily have to be part of a challenge like that to be able to challenge yourself. So uh, anyway, I'll let you guys go and uh, see you on the next one. Catch you later.